Which Woody Jack Demerson check it out? So what a surprise because the venue that was supposed to hold the Stop the Violence concert actually figures out that it's, wait, is this a Chief Keith concert? Now they, they're hearing a bunch of reverence and people within the city like, please, please don't let this go down. And they said, oh, fuck this. We're canceling. Now, if you guys don't know, the Chief Keith Benefit concert that was scheduled to be at the Red Moon Theater has been canceled by the theater. Now, their explanation is this. They said, we didn't understand the full nature of the event, which is translation for why didn't nobody tell us this was a Chief Keith concert? Now, here's the thing. They just came off having a Chance the Rapper concert. So it's obviously specific to the individual. They don't mind having Chance the Rapper. They mind having Chief Keith. They agreed to the event thinking, oh, stop the violence, cool. Then they like, oh, Chief Keith. Oh, no, get, no, 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 mm -mm. Now, I will tell you this because let's be serious. Chief Keith is blacklisted in Chicago the last time he tried to perform in Chicago. The venue canceled as well, saying, listen, basically citing security risks. They're like, yo, we can't do this shit because the amount of ops you're going to have coming over here for a goddamn shootout, we ain't got vests and we got people that's going to be innocent bystanders. If you niggas want to go shoot out, go make a goddamn paintball arena and you niggas bring the guns, okay? We, you can't come over here and do that, okay? Now, I did say, right? I did point out that, listen, I pointed out on Twitch, actually. I was like, yo, if Chief Keith ain't going to his own concert, why the fuck would I? I mean, come on, think about it. If Chief Keith ain't going to his own concert, why the fuck would I go to his concert? Now, here's the thing, because I know people are going to say, and I would obviously say as well, well, he got warrants in Chicago. He can't really return. That's the reason why he can't go back to perform. I mean, I get it. But even if he didn't have warrants, think about it. You think Chief Keith is performing in the heart of Chirac, at least at this point in his career? Absolutely not, okay? Now, let me tell you this, man. It's basically because of the people that pretty much don't like him. They're living there, and they have been struggling forever. If Chief Keith comes there, they will not be welcoming him with open arms, okay? Now, as I said, if a nigga ain't going to his own concert, why the fuck would I? But I do love the hologram idea. Unfortunately, this got to be done in another city. And I'm sure Chief Keith has a lot of fans in the USA where they could find another city. Perhaps close enough that his fans in Chicago could travel. But actually, no, I don't even know. I really don't even know the solution to this problem. Because the Reverend and everybody else who was mad at this concert in the first place and other people who raised security concerts and just concerns about, like, people in general, they are happy that this decision will not happen, right? The show won't be going on. Now, for some people, they're saying a concert won't help people. I mean, they're saying, yo, how is a concert with a rapper who all he raps about is violence going to help stop the violence, okay? Which, hold on, let me just stop this, okay? Because if you're telling me that a rapper who's only made violent music is going to make a concert that's going to stop the violence, come on, please stop it, all right? Now, I get it. Listen, I, I think a concert would work later down the line for Chief Keith, but obviously there has to be certain things done. I particularly think, and I don't think this will ever happen, that's why the Warren Chirac will continue. Before you do this, right, it's not going to be solved through music, okay? These beefs are something that's really drenched in the streets or the streets, quote-unquote. And these rival gangs who keep killing each other gang beef and also revenge beef, they got to come to some type of truth. And until they come to those type of truths publicly that shows everybody and puts it out there like, hey, we don't have a problem. I'm talking about the leaders. Say, we don't have a problem with this person. And you got to publicly come together. Publicly. Okay? I don't know if Farrakhan got to be there, but it's got to be public. Everybody got to see like, hey, the two gang leaders, if there's any type of structure to these gangs, they don't got problems with each other. So why the hell do you? And basically, that's how you deconstruct these beefs and the heavy tension going on in Chirac. A concert's not going to help, but I do get it. I think it's a good promotional tactic for Chief Keith. As for the uh, family of the baby who died, I get it. Chief Keith could cut a, a goddamn check for that. However, I mean, a benefit concert would definitely work. But a lot of people are probably thinking like, wait, why do we have to go fund a benefit concert? Well, to keep it real, it was the gangbangers who really killed a kid. So it's a very complex situation, man. It's very sad that it won't go on, but I definitely understand the security. Listen, if you don't understand or even try to get into the minds of the people who would say we're canceling it, you're just completely one-sided. I get it, you're a Chief Keef fan, but you got to think as well, like, the a Chief Keef concert? I mean, niggas might literally try to come bust out of the hologram. Come on, man. Like, we got to be honest, all right? Now, there has to be another way, and that's the thing about Alki David. I think he's a genius businessman. I think he's going to figure this out, all right? And that's one of the problems, and that's one of the hurdles you get with working with Chief Keef. Chief Keef is someone who can't really tour freely because he's had issues. He's someone who's brought a demonic vibe. 
So because of that, you have to adapt to it, and you also got to make your moves accordingly. So we'll see how they kind of get around it. I mean, I will tell you this, that um, uh, basically truces have to be called, and until then, and it has to be called publicly. I mean, most of the times these guys are disrespecting each other. It keeps fueling the situation. All right. So even if you change the music to rap about getting money, it's not going to mean people are going to stop killing each other. If you guys had beef, and maybe Chief Keith personally doesn't know anybody he has beef with now, but the BDs and the GDs and everybody else or the EBKs and the KBEs and the EIG. Listen, all you niggas got to come together and basically the leaders or whoever got clout, you got to squash it publicly. You start from there, and basically from there, you then establish the ground rules. It could be, hey, no more music, no, well, no more music dissing the other group. It could be no more rapping about soul and so packs. And basically, you got to deconstruct it that way. But really, just saying, oh, I won't rap um, violent lyrics doesn't mean the beef is not going to stop. I mean, the music has always just been the, like, backdrop for the violence. Is it like the, the violence doesn't stop if the music stops? The violence will always go on. That's why I disagree with the father and the reverend, that is. I mean, listen, he's thinking that just the music is the problem. You get rid of the music, they're still killing each other. They're just killing each other even more because they got nothing to even do because some of these guys, they try to be musicians. No music, they're just killing each other. So get in the comments. What do you guys think about this, man? The concert has been canceled. From what I see, and Alki David did put out a video today. I did blast it out. It looks like it was still going online. I'm not sure if there's going to be a live concert or how they're trying to gonna, they're going to do it. When I do get more information, I'll put it out to you guys. And hey, what do you guys think about this? Get in the comments. Let's talk about it. Shwoody Jack Academics. I'm out.